Hey there viewers and welcome back to the South Main Auto Channel. Now you guys have asked repeatedly for scan tool reviews in which I've decided not to do because it's difficult to do. However, I'm going to try to be more, uh, I don't know the word I'm looking for, more better at showing you the strengths of some scan tools over others. Now this Ford I'm working on, a 06 I believe it is, uh, yeah there it is, 06 F250, the V10, fish bite misfires after a while might go a week or two and i'll throw an ignition primary code uh, like a po335 for example uh, which typically indicates a bad coil now it may go weeks before this happens however sitting at an idle you can feel a fish bite once in a while typically what we would do on this is you would go into mode 6 data and this is how the ecm stores misfire data it's usually written in hexadecimal and a lot of times you have to have a little chart to figure out which one it is, which uh, TID, which test ID number to use. And it can be a little bit confusing. However, this is where OTC, in my opinion, does a fantastic job. Now we can go into enhanced OBD2, we can go to test 53, and we can, we can sort through it, which they actually decipher a lot of the mumbo jumbo. Uh, but one thing I think they do is great, is they actually decipher it right in the data, which is, is really cool. Uh, now this might not apply to everybody uh, but if you've you know worked on Fords long enough looking for misfires sometimes this can be tricky but we go here where it says misfire data mode 6 and they take the the mode 6 misfire data oops if I can click the right stuff here and they put it in layman's terms for us which is really nice so we have our current trip misfires which you can find this in mode 6 data but it's really nice when they sort it out and pull it up on the screen for us so we can let it sit here and idle and eventually it'll start counting up so we can see that number six and number one are my you know cylinders at fault here the ones that are given the most trouble uh, and it's very intermittent so there we just went from 27 to 28 and then we can look at our average counts during this trip a rolling average misfires i don't know if there'll be anything on here six and 13 on one and six so this can be extremely helpful uh the other thing that we can do on here so those, those are going to be my two cylinders i'm going to be tracking down on this you know what's going on bad plug bad coil you know whatever we can swap around coils at this point we can change one and three and you know five and six if we wanted to see if the misfire follows it the other thing that they do strong here that i know uh i'll tell for a matter of fact doesn't do strong is their power balance this is about the closest to an ids as you can come that i've seen so we're going to go on here and we go to our power balance test and this will help us identify which cylinder is misfiring now this i find is usually good for a cylinder that has a pretty pretty dead miss a really good fish bite so you can see it brings a graph up and if there's a misfire uh, let's say for example on number one our graph would go down and then right back up depending on how much rpms it lost during that misfire event a good engine will have a pretty pretty steady line like this now the v10s are a little tricky because the cylinders are so close in firing order so i guess uh i guess that's that on that trying to use this on the altel it just doesn't work you know forget about it uh, at least on the v10 i know it doesn't but this has a really fast update rate on this uh, and is, is quite accurate in my opinion and the other thing I think is pretty cool, these have a built-in relative compression test where we can go through, it disables the fuel, disables the spark, you hold the throttle wide open, crank it over, and it will bring up a chart similar to that power balance test to let you know which cylinder isn't contributing as well. So you can do a lot of stuff from this right from the driver's seat and you know never have to get out, you don't have to get out an amp clamp. Uh, but I did want to show you the, the fact that they did put their mode six deciphered right up on data where you can see it. Like I say, otherwise you're typically going in here and you know, let's see, we'll pick out mode six. If you guys want to learn more about mode six, uh, let's see, motor eight, Pete over at Motor Age, I think he did a couple part series on all 10 modes of OBD2, which is extremely helpful. So you can come in here and you can see how they sort it out, like test ID number one. They actually give you a definition for it, which is really great because now you don't have to look it up and uh, you know give you the min and max values and the actual value that the car recorded like i say this is usually in hexadecimal you know computer lingo uh, which is hard to hard to decipher through 
Um, let's see, we could probably get down to the misfires here. So this is typically how you would do it. You'd come down, you know, you'd have to find the right test ID. It may not even be 53 on, on this one because it's an 06. Uh, let's see, there's cylinder one. Yeah, let's see, test ID 80 and 81. And then, you know, you can look at the value that it's at its max value before it even sets an engine light. That's why this car doesn't have an engine light because, uh, let's see, our misfire cylinder one current data is a value of 27 and it has to hit this max value over here before it trips an engine light. So it's always gonna come up as passed, but uh, this is kind of a, a way you can do like, you know, early detection. Let's say you're driving this thing, you don't feel misfires, you try a ton of loads, but it's only at that idle. You know, it sounds like a broken record at this point. But being able to go in here and look at it deciphered keeps you from having to go into mode six, refreshing your screen all the time, you know, sorting through one cylinder at a time. The fact that they have this option is pretty sweet. And I find overall, in my opinion, that the Altel does not do that good on Fords in general. It works really slow, a lot of tests don't work, but I find that OTC does a pretty good job with it. So Hopefully you guys can find some useful information there and we can see that definitely one and six are our offending cylinders. And that's it. So I'm gonna go with my Diag from here and uh, just wanted to show you to that guys. So thanks for watching.